Well, Tom, as the curator for birds and invertebrates here at the Toronto Zoo, you clearly have a really fascinating job. But from what I understand, one of the more unusual parts of your job is helping tarantulas have sex. So why would, why would you want to breed tarantulas? Well, that goes back to uh, 1986 when I first started here at the zoo. Um, I looked at zoos throughout North America and found out nobody is breeding tarantulas. So, so let's take a look at what we actually have right here. Okay, well, I've got a series of tarantulas here, um, ranging from, well, little guys to big guys to uh, pretty ones to okay. pretty dull ones. Oh. And what kind is that one? Well, that's a, a red kneed tarantula. You can see uh, his breakfast on his back. I see, and this one here? Uh, that's a flame kneed tarantula. A so flame knee. what's the, the difference there? Well, just the amount of red, these are two species of the same ge genus. Gotcha. And these are protected species in, uh, in Mexico where they come from. I see. And here's a, uh, a third so, one in the same group. So part of the breeding then is to enhance the population because they are threatened? Um, well, basically, uh, no. We, they're not being released back into the wild. Uh, what uh, the main reason is to stop them from being taken from the wild. So and when you say they're being taken, though, you, what you mean is for the pet trade, right? They would be taken for the pet trade. How about breeding itself? How does that actually work? Well... Do you uh, have a male and a female here? We have a male and a female right in front of you, actually. Um, these are another species of the Brachypelma group, or the uh, CITES and, uh, protected species. Okay, and so under, this, this little guy this here? This is the male. This is the male. And, uh, and so is the female. female bigger? Oh, yes. She's quite a bit bigger, yeah. Uh, now, males can be almost as big as females, but uh, you can, I can lift the one up. So when you are breeding them, what exactly do you do? Well, what we have to do is uh, very carefully, because uh, the girls tend to be quite aggressive. A female will suddenly decide it's time, and there's very little you can do when a fang comes out and just, boom, penetrates right through the uh, cephalothorax, the head of the, of the male. Um, very carefully introduce the male into the female's pen. She, he will, by with just touching his toes onto the surface, will detect whether she is uh, a viable female, whether oh. she's interested, if she's an adult or a juvenile, and uh, she can, he can tell all these things. He will then start to what is called stridulate. He'll call, and uh, what he does is vibrate, and she will pick up those vibrations, and if she's receptive, she will respond by drumming. Now, mm. after they've bred, oh, here they go right now. After they get together, oh my goodness. He's interested. He's definitely interested. Oh, look at this. He's good. He's, <laughs> he's a very happy male right now. He's trying to figure out what he's going to do here. See, he's trying to get to the head. These are what are called primitive spiders with tarantulas. So they, uh, the males have to get right at the danger zone of the female. They have to be right in front of those chelicerae. He's now trying to hook his fangs into hers. She didn't respond the way I hoped, but he's now, so he's hooked fangs, so he's gonna try and fold her back so he can reach to her epigenome and uh, transmit the sperm. Now she's not gonna kill him after he's done, is she? Or? That's especially the dangerous time. Okay, he's mating her now. Oh my goodness. It's a beautiful moment. So far, she's been very nice. Yeah, sometimes, as I say, they get uh, very aggressive towards their, their mates. Now, how many tarantula babies will they produce? Uh, species dependent, but in this species, uh, you can get 400. Um, other species, as few as 50. And out in the wild, how many of those would survive? Oh, uh, out of two or three egg, uh, batches, you might get one or two babies surviving. Incredible. So now he's trying to depart, I think. If we're lucky, she'll be gentle and just uh, let him go. But, uh, oh, wow, look at that. There, she's let him go. So he's, that's, so that's basically it. So, Tom, I'm sure most people can understand loving what are called charismatic megafauna, like seals with big blinky eyes or pandas. How do you get people to love tarantulas? Well, the big thing is you've got to understand them. Uh, all wildlife is, is important, and invertebrates are the essential life on Earth. 
Okay? Without them, we all die. So tarantulas are more or less a flagship for them. They're the, they're the species that uh, people pick up on because of the giants. But in actual fact, even these big guys can't kill you. They're, they're quite harmless. They're definitely exotic. Well, to celebrating the beauty in all things, thank you so much, You're Tom, welcome. for joining us today on Ziology. Mm -hmm.